Hello Taurus, welcome to your end of July going into the beginning of August reading. I'm going to go ahead and do a general reading at this time. It's going to be for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and our Venus. It doesn't necessarily have to apply to love, but it can. So just take what it resonates and how it does for you, but not every little detail, everything that I say today in today's reading will apply to every single one of you. But know that if it does... I can't help it. It's just whatever comes through today is what my spirit guides want me to read at this time and see for the sign of Taurus. So I decided today that I'm going to be doing your reading a little bit differently because we're not completely and entirely reading for love. I kept getting indecision when I was shuffling your cards earlier. <clears throat> and I wonder if they're going to come out again. Let's take a look. Let me just shuffle a few of these decks. Some of you have a choice between two people. You're at crossroads here, maybe choosing between staying or leaving responding or not between two people I kept getting air sign fire sign water sign that's cancer Scorpio Pisces Aries Leo Sag Aquarius Libra Gemini I also got that the center of your reading you were feeling anxious about this decision about needing to choose between two people. Now what was interesting I want to mention before these cards pop out because I'm pretty sure they will again was that <clears throat> I was getting up picking up either a male or a female Taurus or someone with strong Taurus in their chart. It could be a cross watcher too who's dealing with the Taurus. Someone who has either ignored their phone ignored a text or ignored someone's message Okay, and just because they ignored it doesn't mean they haven't seen it, they haven't checked it, they didn't feel some type of way about it. Now, this is also, that was going on on one side over here. Then we had something going on down here what was a bit heavier. It has seven of wands, temperance, and strength. Okay, some of you guys, that's a Leo. The, I don't know why that reading stuck with me so much. I was actually going to post it up, but then I got distracted and I decided to do your reading again. And this is kind of why I'm saying this reading like I was saying, like I, how I'm doing it right now. So <clears throat> there was a, some sort of restriction. Now, each thing that came out could be all connected to a particular thing or a person but they don't necessarily all have to apply to the same situation or all to the same thing. So some of you Torians may be dealing with one section of the reading and not its entirety. And some of you, this whole thing that comes out may revolve around one person or one situation. So take how it resonates for you and leave out the rest. Okay, and the other situation that I saw I told you was a bit heavier. <clears throat> okay, it feels like you were trying to dodge somebody. This is someone who you've argued with, you're very stressed out about, but you're putting up with it. This could be a family member, a friend, a sibling, a cousin, a co worker, maybe just frustrated with you know not being able to figure out or decide what you want to do you could be frustrated with yourself or just how the situation is but i'm getting frustration as the overall energy over here on this side and with the strength card coming out you're holding back you're purposely biting your tongue not saying certain things to certain people you know you could lash out at them you know you you don't want to hurt their feelings either is what I'm getting, Taurus. But you're avoiding them. 
if you're not avoiding them intentionally, physically, I feel like there is some sort of energetic blockage here. Okay, you're not letting them too close. You're not letting them in. But then we also have your interest on something or someone else. And that's also another path that's opening up for you as the whole general theme of your reading today. It felt like you have two paths, two roads, two people, two options ahead. Which one led or leads you to the temple path? And I had to look up that card to see what it meant. Um, as it came out with a very spiritual message for some of you who have already been enlightened or a little bit more advanced on your spirituality or along your spiritual path. Those of you who understand the temple path, um, that card said... You're about to make a very important decision about which path you take, about who you choose, about what you do from now until the end of July, about which direction you take, about how you... There's just some level of frustration, okay? And you're like, something's got to change. Well, one of those paths, it leads to your soul's purpose. It was kind of a big reading. It was kind of a big deal, Taurus. That's why I'm kind of redoing your reading. And that's why I decided, you know what? I want to come back and finish that reading for Taurus. Felt like it was a message that needed to be heard. But just please keep in mind, this is a general reading. So if you need more clarity... Okay, guidance to your specific situation. I can do the same reading for you guys personally. Something just like this and what to look out for. Um, but you'll have to reach out to me. That's a personal reading. Okay. But the general message here was you had a choice. And you have to pass the head. You're very tempted to choose one path over the other. Now, it did say you are on the correct path, meaning the reason why things have come and led up to this point now, and perhaps why you've why you um, Have such a difficult choice or why you stumbled on this or why you've had this on your mind for such a long time is because what you're going through right now is all part of your soul's process. I don't know how that's going to make sense to you guys, but for some of you it said you're on your karmic path and heading in the right direction and the choices you make now are very important for your personal growth and life lessons. Um... It's a really wonderful life-expanding time. So keep in mind your personal priorities as well as your spiritual connection telling you guys. I Can you guys believe this? Telling you. It's wanting to repeat this message right here is, is coming out again. Yep, Spirit is definitely with me and telling me I have to get this message out. Okay, so <clears throat> you are on the correct path. And heading in the right direction. But the choices you make now are very important, Taurus. You are literally right here. Two paths lay ahead. There are going to be open doors for you. Opportunities for you. Which path are you going to choose? Some of you are in a third party situation. This is a very difficult decision surrounding partners okay as here i did mention wow look at this i get the same cards okay we have major arcanas all over your reading so something big is coming up for taurus clarity is going to come soon 
some of you guys, this is between, like I said, an air sign. Didn't I say an air sign? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And we have the lovers right here too. So we have Gemini right here. Some of you guys, this is a choice between two people. Because we're in a third party situation. Okay. And some of you, I told you it's a water sign. Alright, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You're leaving behind one person. Or there's going to be a tower moment that comes in between you and someone else. And if you are on the wrong path, okay, we have Cancer, the Moon, the Pisces, the Hangman. And we also have the Chariot. Strong water signs in here, let alone we have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, I told you guys there was a fire sign as well. And we do have fire in here as well. Okay. We have Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This is going to be a choice. Maybe someone from your past and someone who you've just met. This may be for some of you. You would have to leave somebody behind. Perhaps somebody's thinking, well, damn, I can't. Sex is too damn good. Um, some of you guys are just really worried about someone not being able to, not having some sort of reconciliation with someone in your past. Okay. I'm going to be putting these back as they kind of just fell out the way they did. Um, but this is definitely talking about a past coming back. <clears throat> Having a choice between two. Is it your past or is it your present? Or is it going to be somebody here? It's up to you. I don't know what situation you guys are each dealing with right now. Is this a general reading? But I can tell for sure. You guys are sitting right here. If this is in terms of business, financial, or legal, this is some of you guys here at a crossroad trying to figure out should you take a new direction? Should you take a different path? Should you look at things from a different perspective? Should you sign or get in or get out of a contract? Okay, should you make this investment? There's something big going on in Torian's energy here. And it's something that my spirit guys really want me to get out there. As I was just talking about this path and it fell out. Okay. <clears throat> so. There's something in here. Um, it's not readily apparent or visible to you guys yet. Yeah, some of you guys are about to leave. You're not, like I told you, is the heavier energy on this side. And I, I'm getting it again, okay? I was pointing and directing over here earlier because it was falling out over here the way it was. And like I told you, not everything has to be tied together. But some of you guys, all of this, everything is connected to something else, okay? It's kind of like a butterfly effect thing. <clears throat> but for some of you, this is just one aspect of your life that's about to change. And what I was feeling right here, Taurus, was there's something big going on over here. You're fed up with it. <clears throat> there was a sense of resistance, okay, with the Seven of Wands or an energy coming out on that side. And here now is the Ten of Swords. Um, pretty much talks about... You know, defending yourself against a person. Feeling vulnerable to share your ideas or an expression that you have to somebody you want to say it, but you're kind of making a head over hard decision, some of you guys. And you're finding this as, or this person or this situation very challenging. Yet, there was strength to overcome it. Okay. Then we have temperance here, which also talks about finding patience, finding balance. <clears throat> you know, feeling duality. 
wanting to be neutral, stay neutral. Showing restraint, patient. As you're wondering what's the purpose and all this, this is like Taurus is reading, it has something bigger going on over here. Like, you're waiting for that perfect opportunity to do something. And the right timing is going to happen as it comes with the sun. And I did mention you choosing soon as a new path. Some of you, okay, one path here. We do have options. We have lovers. This talks about a choice. It talks about having options or many people to choose from. And how these cards fell out right here. We have a choice. One that's back breaking, bone crunching, long journey, long row ahead, uphill struggle, doing the same thing repetitively, expecting a different outcome, but doing the same thing over and over. And also feeling the five of pentacles lonely. Um, financial burdened, restraint, feeling left out in the cold. This is just this is not happy stuff okay and that's like that karmic path I was talking about if somebody here's learned their lesson and I feel like they have because the other path here that's opening up is the emperor and the ace of pentacles and this I told you something about your soul's journey some of you guys are divine masculine something some of you guys this leads to your divine masculine I did mention Aries earlier. It's also the card of Aries. It's also leads to you, is the card of your husband, your spouse, um, someone who's financially independent, someone who's a boss, CEO, a father. You know all that jazz. And here we have the Ace of Pentacles, new start. <clears throat> it's still in the works. It's not exactly apparent yet, but it's starting to become uh, available to you guys. It's slowly to be becoming visible. The relationship, it, like this whole thing is kind of forming. Okay. Communications coming in, or there's clarity coming in about which one to choose or what to choose. Or what to do okay there's a little bit of anxiety going on right now either you have you're feeling anxious right now about this person messaging you for some reason I don't know why I was getting somebody here is refusing to respond to somebody and still seeing their text or seeing their calls but really thinking about it we have a man holding a heart okay <clears throat> this involves a relationship status we have the thinking man with deceit somebody is really thinking hard and long about a relationship about their whole situation about this whole thing but funny thing is they don't know how to say it speak up and express how they feel for some of you guys this is the person you're dealing with they have trouble expressing their feelings and they don't want it known they feel hurt stabbed in the back by you and perhaps feel like the two of you are just sex only perhaps it's already over there's a lot of temptation here okay somebody can't stop thinking about you guys all right but one path leads to total wish fulfillment. The other one looks like a karmic cycle may repeat again. I mean, they're both karmic. doesn't have to be a bad or negative thing. But one does lead to your wish fulfillment, everything you want, Taurus. It was crazy. It was like your soul's purpose and why you've been on this journey or why you've been on this path. Everything is slowly going to make sense to you, but choose wisely was what I got. <clears throat> really strong in your reading. Okay, let me read to you guys that card that came out. Show me the energy, of the, the main energy of this reading. I told you guys, told you guys, told you guys, told you guys. 
Okay, that's that's what I was saying. Something here. Um, crazy, getting chills, guys. Um, you know, it's a new beginning. This door opens onto the expansive energetic realm, realm where all new beginnings originate. This door opens onto truly unlimited potential for the changes that happen here reach deep into the core of your being. This card often heralds your increasing powers in the spiritual arts and a deepening connection with the spirit world. Don't be surprised if you find yourself becoming more intuitive, more aware of spirit's presence, or more powerful in your own healing practices. Now is the time to open up to unexpected guidance and inspiration of spirit and to the magic and power of your own true identity as you will now reach that total deeper understanding of why everything has happened the way it has. <clears throat> The winding path that you are on leads to a blessed temple in a lovely garden symbolizing the spiritual destiny your soul has had in mind for this lifetime. Taurus, there's something big that's going on for you guys. And it says this card right now is telling you what you're going through now is all part of a bigger plan, your soul's process. You are on your karmic path and heading in the right direction. The choices you make now are important for your personal growth and life lessons. This is a wonderful life expanding time. So keep in mind your personal priorities. You have a wonderful influence on in all that you experience. Following your higher intentions will help you move your life forward in dramatic ways and connecting with spirit. That's crazy. You guys saw it here in the video. I can't even make the shit up if I want to. That was crazy towards. That was your message. Um, reach out. If this recent reading touched you guys, I want to meet you and get to know you guys a little bit better because you obviously have a crazy message in here. And I can give you guys a more um, detailed, thorough reading. And I would love to read for you guys. It doesn't matter if you're a Taurus or not. If you happen to land on this video, maybe it was for you. Um, but you can reach out. You can take advantage of the $22, $0.22 special that I have currently going on. After this month, it's going to be $33.33 for a short and one question reading. A lot of you guys have asked me to keep it, and I am going to do that. So the full reading option is still going to be $55 and up. But I'm going to go ahead and keep it at $33.33. For the short and one question readings, but those are only up to 10 minutes long and limited to one question. As the full readings, you can ask me three or more. So take advantage of this offer if you guys want a specific reading on this message. Especially if you feel like you have a choice and are stuck between a rock and a hard place about who and what to choose from right now as something big is going on. All right, Taurus. Love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.